Uh, I'm Leticia Leitao. I coordinate uh, the joint uh, IUCN ECOMOS Connecting Practice project, which started in 2013 and uh, uh, aims, at least in the short term, to uh, influence a shift in the organizational procedures of IUCN and ECOMOS towards a much more integrated consideration of uh, cultural and natural heritage. In the first phase, we mostly, as I said, wanted to test how we could uh, integrate the evaluation processes of ECOMOS uh, and IUCN mostly when we are dealing with um, mixed sites or cultural landscapes, when we have to send missions in the field, when we need to send different teams because at the moment things were running as parallel processes. So we wanted to test how to do things in a collective way. So we started uh, in the first phase with three case studies, uh, a cultural landscape in uh, Ethiopia, a natural site in Mexico, and a cultural site in uh, Mongolia. In the second phase, uh, we're trying to influence more uh, management effectiveness methodologies, and we're trying to work in a more collaborative way with the sites to actually influence a shift also in their management system so that it's not doesn't stay only at the international level but actually trickles down to the local level. So this time we're aiming to do two field works, one in the rice terraces of the Philippines and the other one in uh, Maloti Drakensburg in uh, South Africa. Um, this is, in a way, my uh, personal opinion. Uh, a lot of these things are so in entrenched within the systems, in a sense, like it's everything in within the World Health System has become so codified, has become so political, that it's, there's little room for introducing change or they actually take a very long time so by you know we're learning also by doing uh, but i think uh, the, the first phase uh, produced um, very good results actually much more optimistic than we initially um, thought about and and the 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 feedback we got from the teams doing the field work and also from the from the national and local level was well, why didn't we do this before? Everyone was really excited, so so there were some constraints in, in there, but the, the in the end it was a very uh, good result. People really thought, you know, that that actually by looking at it in an integrated way, the results were much more. Um, applicable to the to the sites what the sites need rather than running these things in a in a parallel process We're, as part of the second phase of the connecting practice, we're organizing an event around connecting uh, the connecting practice project, but also with three other initiatives from partners that look at also at these interactions between natural and cultural heritage. So we're organizing an event during the Congress, also because we want to give visibility to the project. Uh, this is a quite uh, small project, uh, so we uh, recognize the need to collaborate uh, with other organizations, with other partners, so that they can uh, use some of the lessons learned that we have from the connecting practice and they start incorporating it in their own projects. Again, I can only answer on a very personal level. Because in a way, I'm, a, I'm, I'm myself an example of connecting practice. I started as, I'm an architect by training. I started by working with the cultural heritage. And then I had the uh, opportunity to work for IUCN and actually shift to the working with the natural heritage. But I remember when I started working with IUCN, a lot of people, would, uh, a lot of colleagues from the organization would look at me and it's like, you're an architect, what are you doing here? Uh, but the idea is that the convention is the international instrument that brings together cultural and natural heritage. And, you know, many of more than 40 years later, we're still running these two things in, into um, 
parallel process that when you actually start digging in the processes with a very f few elements are exactly the same way it's more of the institutional division that creates that necessarily you know like the people don't collaborate uh, more so I was very interested also in working with the connecting practice because it was site specific we wanted to really work directly with the sites because a lot of the work that advisory bodies do it's always in function of of the committee in, always in function of the international level so there was a sort of a disconnect in my view of how the recommendations that come on the international level trickle down to the local level so by the connecting practice was really like how can we link the international theory international practices to actually have an impact on the ground and for me that was really the appeal of how do you link this the uh, these two levels uh, and how we make sure that what we're trying to do actually is applied and actually benefits um, the sites which are in in the end you know the main purpose why we have all of this system